92 years after nine boys were wrongfully arrested, the state of Alabama is working to commemorate their story. The case of the Scottsboro Boys is one of America's first and longest civil rights cases. News 19's Deidre Briscoe attended the 92nd commemoration of their arrest and joins us now in the studio. Deidre. Nine boys who didn't know each other all boarded the same drain in 1931. They ended up in a fight and then were later accused of rape of two white women. Ages 12 to 19, the boys' lives would never be the same. Charlie Weems, Ozzie Powell, Clarence Norris, Olin Montgomery, Willie Robinson, Haywood Patterson, Andy Wright, Roy Wright and Eugene Williams. Governor Kay Ivey reads the names of nine boys who were wrongfully incarcerated after a scuffle on a train and accused of raping two women. The son of the only man that lived to see exoneration attended the event to commemorate the 92nd anniversary of the boys' arrest Friday. His father was Clarence Norris. This is a powerful moment. Um, you know, I, when I was in the museum this morning, I just thought of all guys, the nine that were in the Scottsboro situation. Uh, it's very tragic what happened to him. And this is kind of a, a jubilation, I would say, kind of, you know, just to, just for people to recognize what happened. And now we're moving forward. There's still much work to do in this country. In February, the Decatur City Council voted to move the home of Judge James Horton from Greenbrier to the site of a proposed museum in Decatur. Judge Horton ended up ruling against racial injustice in one of the Scottsboro Boys' trials. The decision to move his home was done with the help of a former state representative, who Governor Kay Ivey honored Friday. I agree with the words of former state representative John Robinson, who passed away just one week ago. Quote, time does not heal everything. That's why it's so important to exonerate the Scottsboro Boys. On the 92nd anniversary of the rest of the Scottsboro Boys, I'm honored to join you all in this solemn occasion as we symbolically follow museum founder Sheila Washington's pledge to burn a candle in memory of the Scottsboro Boys. The Scottsboro Boys Museum is a major stop along the 15-state United States Civil Rights Trail and one of eight across Alabama. It's very important, uh, the trail itself, but to, to know that this actually all started here in Scottsboro in 1931 is significant. And from where we were then to where we are now, even though we've got more to go, but when you look at the differences, it's, it's incredible and uh, we're honored to, to be the first stop. In the cases that led to the convictions being overturned, it was found that African Americans had been systematically excluded from jury pools, violating the Sixth Amendment right to a fair trial, as well as the Fourteenth Amendment right to equal protection under law.